So let me try to fix this. And I've been trying to record this video for the last 30 minutes. Do you know I've done a whole video without sound? And uh, it's because my my microphone was not connected. But anyway, guys, my nose is nothing, but it's okay. We are back into business. I know it's been a minute. I've actually checked my uh, YouTube studio and it's been over 70 days since I last posted a video here. And uh, it's not a good thing, but at the same time, I've been having a lot of issues, good issues. So nothing to worry about, but I'm back. And today we are talking about Kuozon Corporation or Kuozon Hiring Agency. It's a global hiring agency for future jobs. And uh, before even we get into that, I'm so grateful that uh, it's been over two and a half years since I started giving information on cruise jobs. And have seen so many people, so many people join courtship through the information I give. Some through application uh, helps with uh, help with application. Some have applied for themselves. Some have gotten jobs through um, different cruise hiring agency. And uh, it makes me happy to know that um, through giving this information, people uh, have really improved their lives and uh, have really. Uh, got it opportunities to work on good cruise ships. And uh, thank you so much for those who have been here since then. And uh, if you are a new subscriber, you're welcome. My name is Paulina. I'll travel with two one in this video on this channel. I <laughs> talk about travel or how you can immigrate to different countries without using an agency or a traveling consultant. When I mean agency, is you don't have to pay money. Uh, for you to immigrate abroad, you know. So, guys, um, today we are talking about uh, everything about uh, Cruzon Corporation. But before we get into that, let me show you a video uh, uh, of the owner of Cruzon and uh, the news that he has. Open heart to collaborate and uh, to make Kenya to be only hub in the entire continent of Africa for cruise industry. And I believe we are ready to start with the, with the formal talks, because in general, mm -hmm. uh, I have to, to mention a few things. Uh, I'm very open person for any kind of talks. Those who meet me in Kenya in the last couple of uh, times when I was in Nairobi, they know that uh, I would like to be a friend with every one of, uh, of uh, the Kenyans, uh, the people uh, who wants to uh, talk to me. I'm always available uh, when I'm there, and also uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of times in the future because we will try to uh, be more free to come more often in Nairobi and visiting other cities as I did last time with uh, with uh, actually the visit of Tika, your city. From that video, you can tell that uh, we're going to have more opportunities and not only uh, on board cruise ship, but also land-based jobs. And um, if you're not a Kenyan, uh, don't feel discouraged because as I've said, the company is global. So for example, if you're from Uganda, if you're from Tanzania, if you're from Rwanda, or any other part of the, of the world, especially East and Central Africa, they also have the same opportunities because if they, there'll be any corporate training, uh, he said he will he will see how those people who will get job with Kozon uh, recruiting agency will be able to come to Kenya and have the corporate training for free. Uh, maybe your flight and also accommodation meals, everything will be catered for. Uh, but that information um, will be verified in future after the training has started. Anyway, guys. Uh, we're going to learn a few things about Cruzon Corporation and how they operate their recruiting process and everything that you need to know about it. Okay, uh, you've met the owner who is uh, Mr. Zoran uh, from the clip that I've uh, just inserted in this video. It's from a live video, uh, a live session that we did on TikTok where he was uh, answering questions uh, in regards to uh, Cruzon hiring process. And uh, I think it was one of the most uh, informative sessions that I've ever had on my TikTok uh, platform. And uh, people got to learn a lot. I've 
had the request of uploading the full video here on YouTube, but uh, it's a five hours video and I've been trying to download it from TikTok. And uh, trust me, <laughs> it's been really hard. I have not been able to be successful to download all of it, but in case I'm successful, I'm going to upload uh, the whole live session from TikTok here on YouTube so that if you want, if, if you, you missed the session or, or if you didn't know that the session happened, you'll be able to listen and uh, understand more about the company. So for me, I would say it's one of the best recruiting agency, especially in Africa, because it has given opportunity to many people. And uh, one thing I will tell you, in each and every company or in each and every recruiting agency, there all there will always be some challenges. So there have been challenges. Uh, people have uh, given their views on how like the company maybe does not respond to the emails, but it does. It does it does respond to most of the emails, especially if you are qualified for the position or if you are applying for the um for the positions that they have available at the moment. So guys, uh, for you to be able to apply with Cruzone Corporation, uh, they have the same requirement as any other cruise company. First of all, you need to be 21 years and above. I think they don't have an upper age limit, but at least up to 67, according to the most of the cruise uh, companies website, they say up to 67. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe you have people who are over 67 and still working on the cruise ship. Uh, secondly, you should be able to to communicate in English. Okay, so you should be able to communicate in English for you to work on board cruise ship. Uh, for any entry level position, you need to have at least two years of experience. Okay, so when we talk about entry level position, it's those positions that that do not require a lot of experience, but you need like a round based experience of at least one to two years. Uh, the other thing is um, you, uh, the contract uh, differs from one cruise line to the other one, but it's mostly from six to nine months. And then you'll have like a two, two months break. And uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, the other thing uh, about the STCW training uh, requirement, not a must when you're applying with uh, uh what do you call it when you're applying with um corporation i don't know why i'm having a lot of problems when it comes to my memory i don't know i need to take a lot of fish for that anyway uh stcw training is not a requirement because most of the cruise company they are doing the for do not require stcw but if you do require stcw they will tell you after you've got a job you've got a new visa, and then they will recommend you to go ahead and do the STCW training. Uh, the other thing that you need to know is that you don't need, uh, they don't ask for any commission, like you don't have to pay a single penny for the recruitment process. The only thing that you will cater for yourself is your uh, visa fee and also your medical, and in case you need to have STCW, then that will be on you and that applies to most or all cruise um cruise uh cruise company like you don't pay for commissions when applying for those jobs okay uh so they they have uh social 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 what do you call social pages they have a facebook page they they have like the same facebook page is the cruise cooperation that's the main page then you'll find like they have cruise on Kenya, they have cruise on uh, Zimbabwe, they have cruise on Morocco, depending on the on where they have their offices. Okay, so if you're from, uh, for example, East Africa, from Kenya, you're from Rwanda, you're from Uganda, you can have you can check the jobs opening on their Facebook page because they do post. They have a website of which I'm going to leave the link of the website and also the link of where you can apply for present jobs. But I will advise you to always uh, have, uh, to always check on their Facebook pages because that's where they post most of their like um, current uh, recruitment or whatever positions they have currently. And uh, it's 
very easy because all you need to send is your CV, you don't need to attach your recommendation data, you don't need to attach your uh, supporting document, that is your school certificate, recommendation data. Like they have done it, um, they have made it easy for you to do the application. But when you apply with them and get shortlisted, uh, during the pre-screening, they would want, they will ask you to provide the recommendation data. And uh, mostly uh, pre-screening is done uh, by the local uh, local recruiter. For example, in Kenya, they have a local recruiter who is going to have you uh, provide the uh, recommendation letter that um, stated in your CV. And they'll have to verify if the information that you're giving is true. So this is what I'll tell you. Uh, from the previous live session we had with the owner of the Cozon Corporation, he said five five star experience is not a must. Like it's not a, a requirement. If you have well and good, if you don't have, just uh, just write the correct information. Okay, don't uh, say that you're working in a five star where you're not working there because when it comes to you providing the recommendation letter then you'll have to prove that uh, for sure I worked uh, there, okay? Uh, most, sometimes they do have like the major recruitment where they would bring like uh, recruiters or uh, cruise, um, uh, cruise, uh, cruise company to the country where they are recruiting from. For example, last year, around June, they brought a uh, kind of cruise uh, line uh, recruiters. They came here, they did interviews for the people who had already been shortlisted for the jobs position in Carnival Cruise Line. Uh, this month of July, they have like a major recruitment. They are recruiting people to go work in uh, celebrity cruises and various Caribbean cruises. And all you need is to send your CV. Okay, you need to send your CV. And uh, they'll get back to you either with a preliminary interview, where um, sometimes it's online, sometimes you'll be asked to go to the local recruiter depending on where you're coming from. So for me, I would say they are one of the best recruiting agencies and uh, their process is quite um, quite uh, easy compared to other like, agencies. And also they don't, uh, the owner is so much into not wanting you to spend much uh, during the recruitment process. Like they, I remember when you were in the live session, he said, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to pay two thousand for the CV. I don't know who, who was talking, who was telling, but he said you don't have to pay two thousand to have like a CV. You can make CV from, uh, uh, from you can make the CV by yourself as long as it has the information that they need. That is your personal information, your education background, and your experience. And you don't have to include all your experiences from when you are in high school. Okay, you just need to include the experience that is related to what you are applying for. Okay, and uh, when it comes to the issue of the photo, you don't have to use filter, you don't have to use Snapchat for you to look a kind of way. You can take a photo with your phone, a normal photo, a passport size photo, and include it in your TV if you want. But it's not a must or it's not a requirement. Okay, for you to have that in your CV. So, uh, looking at the whole recruitment process, it's very easy for anyone to do the application. And uh, this is what I'll advise you. If you're planning with them, always uh, ensure that uh, in your subject line, include where you are from, okay? For example, you can write Kenya, uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, um, waitress position, okay? So with that, they are able to know that this person is from Kenya, he is applying for this company because of a certain post, maybe they have posted on their website, and uh, they will be able to get back to you. Uh, one thing I will tell you is that either you're applying with a recruiting agency or you're applying directly with a cruise company, never quit your job because the process is very unpredictable. You can't tell that uh, you're going to get a job after two months, maybe you're going to be on board to cruise ship for three months because there are those people who do apply like today they'll get uh, 
a job interview the next day, but it will take them a year, six months, four months, eight months, some even two years before they get to join uh, the ship. So don't quit your job. Uh, and uh, as I've said, the process is normally online, so they know where you'll be required physically, and if you'll be required physically, it's only for a day, okay? So it's very important for you not to quit your job, even after you get your visa. Because I've seen so many people quitting their jobs after maybe they have gotten the interview, you have quit your job after getting a visa. Because you see, like for example, when it comes to the interview, uh, with Crozon, uh, first of all, you do the uh, you do apply, you do the application. Secondly, you will be called for a pre-screening or for a, the pre um, the the interview, the first interview. Then you'll have to do the second interview with the recruiting agency. Okay, so at this point, uh, you are not one hundred percent sure if you have really gotten a job because after you've gotten the job, as of now they'll have to take you for a training, okay? The training is free for those people who have already gotten the job, okay? But if you, if you don't have a job and uh, you'd love to go for some training, you can always inquire from your local recruiter, okay? They'll recommend you for a school or where you can go, or you can also recommend yourself for a school, but for that is on that that cost is on you like you have to pay for the tuition fee and everything else that is involved but in case you get a job with them uh, you do your preliminaries or your pre-screening you pass you do the second interview and you pass then they are going to organize a corporate a training where they will pay everything for you like they'll pay for your meals they'll pay for your accommodation and uh, for the training you don't have to spend anything and then after that when they are 100 percent sure that you're good because you can even get a job go for the training training is where they want to see for sure i said i'm a waiter or i said i'm a waitress uh can i be able do i know something do i know anything to do with waiter or waitress because during the training it's not they're not training you on how from the start okay they're assuming you know everything, but they want to change you up to the standards of working on board cruise ship. Okay, so never quit your job uh, because it's unpredictable. And I've seen so many people get into such mess where you've gotten a job, you want to quit uh, because maybe you have an interview. And I've seen people fail their interviews. Okay, I've seen people going for the embassy visa and uh, getting denied. But uh, one thing I noticed that is when you're working uh, with, for example, if you apply a job with the Greece, uh, with Cozone hiring agency, they are the ones to take you through the whole process. And uh, they have like 99% um, what do you call rate, success rate of visa application because they do provide information to the, um, to the embassy that you're going to be submitting your and they will say this, uh, we are the ones who are, who are recruiting them. So the chances of you being denied the visa are very slim, unless you have other things. For example, you know, when you're feeling the DS-160, you normally have to provide like your social media account. So if you've been talking things that are not good on your social, and um, maybe they're somehow related with the US uh, government or something, there's a high chances that they may deny you the visa, not because of the company, but because of your you as a person for the things that you've been doing. So that's mostly about the company. I'm going to leave the emails that you're supposed to use when applying with them. I'm also going to leave the link of their website, the, their website. I'm also going to leave the link of their career website where you can see the jobs available. Um, you can uh, check them on their Facebook page. I'm going to leave their handles on the description of this video. And uh, what I'm going to tell you is that uh, for you to get a job, it's not that easy, but it takes a lot of effort from you as a person who is doing the application. The effort to check if the job is there, the effort to send your CV, um, 
and uh, don't don't do what don't uh, give up okay don't don't give up because it might take a year but if that is something that you want then you will eventually get the job and for those people who have just completed the high school um the high school uh, they are like high school graduates you can find a course uh in hospitality and uh do it go for get a job somewhere get experience so that when it comes to applying to this job you're confident enough that you can be able to do these jobs and uh, before i forget um very soon uh Kuzon, kenya or Kuzon corporation will be opening uh like a corporate training center here in uh, in kenya speaker to be specific so we are partnering with cascade institute uh those who are around speaker or if, if you're from kenya and uh, maybe you've been studying hospitality or you have you have had interest for studying hospitality courses i'm sure you've had of uh, cascade 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 institute it's located in pick out and that's where the corporate training will be happening and if also you are still student there you have the references of like getting a job with uh reason and cooperation uh but you need to have good attitude you must be able they will not come and pick you just because you're studying there you have to show that you're capable you are capable of doing that job okay because you need to go for an internship you need to have experience in the job that you're applying for and uh, that way they'll be able to shortlist you when it comes to the, the recruitment and they have like a recruitment so guys that's uh, all about Kuzon if you have any question about the company you can leave the comment you can leave your question in the comment section too, and I'm going to respond to it otherwise if you haven't subscribed please do so please give this video a thumbs up and uh thank you so much for the support and i'm hoping to see you in our next